Time to do a little shopping. It's a little perilous going into stores nowadays, but I'm here for a very special reason. Picking up a very special package. An unholy treat. We'll check out the movies in a little bit, but first, the pickup. Got my goodie. I'll unbox this later in the video, and we'll discuss it. But first, let's go check out what they have in DVD and Blu-rays at Walmart today. Oh boy. Let's start in the new releases. Anything interesting here? Hmm. Nothing jumps out at me. If you guys see anything, call it out. I'm just gonna put my box down here. Project Blue Book season two. I saw the first season. Great. I might pick that up. Oh. How many of you guys seen that? That's horrible. Huge pass. Let's see here. That's another stinker. Ooh, great cover for this one. We summon the darkness. I don't know much about this one. Let's see. Monk, it's a great show. Ooh, the new season. It's the best season in years. It's good, I think they're all good. I love that show. Let's see here. Zombie 2, it's a Disney movie. Modern Family. Oh, the final season's already out. It's a great show. Great show. I mean to see that. I don't know, has anyone seen that? Ooh, another abominable. We were just talking about this. On a live stream with Toddy Walnuts. But this isn't this isn't that movie. This is something else. It's another Bigfoot movie. With that title. Okay. Great. What else we got here? Scientist, Eastern Front, The Lost Husband. That's a big cast for that movie. Ozzy Bibb, Josh Duhamel. Cool cover on this. Bells of Buth, Shutter Original. Tooth Fairy, something like that. Ouija Shark, I might just buy that on name alone. It looks ridiculous though. Ugh, that's what it looks like. Ooh, maybe not. Wild Eye, okay. Interesting kill mode, I like that. Looks interesting. Ooh, the Ultraman double features. Oh crap, I might grab that. 12 bucks, that's not bad. Are these the movies? I believe they are. Audio dubs, okay. Ooh, I might grab these. 12 bucks. Okay, this might be coming home with me. I'll show you later if I do get it. It's this. Okay. Uh, great movie. I think that's a TV show. Or based on a TV show. Pandemonium. Look at this little creepy guy. Interesting. This is a fun movie. It's uh, very different. It's not what you expect. Very fun movie. Let's see, Postcard Killings, Matilda, The Nun's Curse. Holy shit, it's Dewey, the future movie. Deputy Dewey. Oh, the short tracks, I had no interest in that. I'm a cowboy, turning. Slightly interested in that, but not really. Heard this was good. Okay, so 
It's new releases. You know, I think I'm gonna pass on the Ultraman set. It looks like it's heavily involved with a TV show, and I'm completely out of continuity. I've only watched the first two seasons of the original. So I think I'm gonna pass. I think I'd be too confused. I set the whole Dexter, that's cool. Quantum Leap, oh, beautiful. That's my favorite series of all time. Quantum Leap is amazing. What else we got? Those are, these are just giant box sets here. A whole bunch of movies. Ooh, Rockford, that's good stuff too. Okay. Nothing necessarily here. You guys own any of these? Let me know. Down in the comments. What do we got here? Ah, oh, Ghostbusters. You know what I need to find is the Ghostbusters steelbook. I'd love to grab that. He-Man. These are the classic 80s movies right here. Oh. This is the Silent Rage. And the VHS box. Oh, from the VHS case. I might get this. This is a really fun movie. Yeah, I might grab that. We've got, uh, more of the same here, kind of movies. Standard fare, nothing unique. I did come across this bullshit. I don't know if you guys have seen this remake. It's disgusting, it's an abomination. <laughs> to be honest, I do not like it. A couple of other cool ones here. Random single sets. Weird Science, and I want the, I want the Carol version of Weird Science. Such a great movie. A couple of little things here. Nothing out of this world, I know. I am curious, however. What is Siberia? I heard of that movie. Anybody saw Critters Attack? I'm curious. I do like that franchise, but I don't think that has anything to do with the actual story. This is really good. I really had fun with this one. Banana Splits movie. That was fun. Did you guys know that it was Christmas in July? Apparently, it is. Brought to you by Hallmark. And a couple of other real Christmas movies. Because these, uh, I don't know. They don't really sound that great to me. Well, I dropped all my stuff. Came across. Some fun stuff here. There's the John Hughes Five Movie Collection. Somebody just wanted to grab that. It's a DVD, but somebody just wanted to grab that to say they've got most of John Hughes's movies. It's pretty good. Similar to Western one over here. Some really good movies. But you know, I don't know how many people are buying DVD nowadays. I guess enough if they're making these. The anime section. Then we got into the Dragon Ball anime. Yeah. I did read the comic though. The manga. This was really good. Gangland Hooligans. Super Miss Tribal. Interesting. And then there's things I do for money. I don't know what that's about, but I'm not interested to know what he does for money. We do have this one. I don't know if you guys have seen this one, the yeah, Force of Nature. I hated it. I thought it was terrible. The editing. It's probably one of the worst edited movies of all time. Horrible editing. The Hunt, though. I love this movie. Completely recommend The Hunt. So good. Practical Jokers. And then, whatever the heck this is. Not for nothing. I prefer older films. This looked interesting, great cast, but I'm not that compelled to watch it. If it was a movie from the 80s though, I would absolutely buy this. I don't know if you guys feel the same, it's just me. I did also come across this, speaking of old. The Berenstain Bears cartoons, all 80 stories. That's pretty fantastic. A couple of other things here, but uh, nothing amazing. I don't know how many people have seen Color out of space. I'm curious, but not that curious. Maybe uh, I'll find it streaming. I'll, I'll check it out there. 
I am interested in this movie down here, The Witch. I hear it's a really solid action picture. But it's part one of apparently a trilogy, so we'll see. Maybe I'll wait till the entire movies are together and buy the set then. Okay, well, that's, that's what Walmart's got going. Not much new or exciting. I may get that silent rage. Maybe something else, who knows. Just left the store. I wanted to show you what I uh, picked up. The Omen Collection. Scream Factory Edition. Look at this beautiful box. Let me put down the slip box and show you the goodies. Look at that. Beautiful. Strong case. Five movies. Eight, oh, uh, the Omen. Damien, Omen 2, Final Conflict, Omen 4, and the remake. And we'll pause so you can, guys can uh, take a look at that if you're going to pause it. And read the back. Check out the special features. I'm going to show you the discs individually as we go. But uh, very excited to own this. Very happy. Big fan. And I love a great deluxe edition collector's box. Thing of beauty. First up is, of course, the classic, The Omen. Amazing movie. You guys can take a look at the special features there. So excited to rewatch this. It's been a while. Richard Downer, Lee Remick, Gregory Peck. Very exciting. Next up, I just saw this. It's kind of a bit of a bummer. Uh, Damien, Omen 2, William Holden, and Lee Grant. You know, the first time it was only a warning, but the uh, this is the first disc. And I find a little damage on you. See that right there? The like I said, I'm not too picky about that. I checked the disc. The disc is good. Woman two. I'm gonna pause right here so you guys can read that. Really amazing special features. I feel like sometimes they always drop the ball in terms of sequels when it comes to features so far so good Omen 2 next up is one I don't think I've actually seen before Final Conflict Sam Neill I mean I might have seen it I, I can't place it I think he plays the president or vice president or something I'm not sure but uh Damien is no longer a child and uh Oof, no, I don't remember that. That's a cool image. Don't remember that. Special features. Another, just let me pause right there. Slam dunk. Again, interview and commentary. The Omen Legacy documentary. Fantastic. Very happy. Can't wait to see this. Probably, I'll probably pop this one in first. Or maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just binge them in order. I probably will do that. Final conflict. There we go. The last of the original... Omen franchise is Omen 4 The Awakening. I'll pause right here so you guys can take a look at the back. Oh, little spoiler alert there. Oh, we got an interview with the writer in another documentary. Don't read the back. There's a spoiler. I don't want to give that away, but Omen 4 The Awakening not the best. It's basically from the original movie with a girl, but not terrible, actually. Definitely worth a watch. I know my kids will enjoy it. My son will enjoy the first three. My daughter will enjoy this one. Because they are definitely holy terrors, as far as I'm concerned. There you have it. The Omen Collection Deluxe Edition. Uh, it's a piece I think every collector should have. A piece every collector should treasure. And thank you, Scream Factory, for this phenomenal, beautiful set. Can't wait to tear into these and introduce my my, my family to this. My children specifically. I know they're gonna try to freak me out afterwards and pretend to be possessed and hide six 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 marks on their bodies, which they'll reveal to me. And then I will become frightened, and then 
worry about my children. But that's part of the fun of being a movie-loving family. Well, I'm curious, what movies do you guys share with your kids, if you have kids? And uh, are they into horror or mostly Disney? Curious. My kids love it all. I'm raising cinephiles, which makes sense because I am a cinephile. Anyway, my friends, hope you enjoyed that little trip to Walmart. An unholy visit to Walmart. I had to pick up this baby. Beautiful, beautiful baby. That I'm going to be so happy to add to my collection. Thank you for coming on the walk with me. Thank you for visiting Walmart with me. There's a black helicopter circling me at the moment. Apologies for that. There are huge Master Chaos fans. Paparazzi's always after me. Anywho, thanks for watching. I hope you're well. And I wish you only the best, my friend. I'll see you on the next one. That'll do.